We are on home assignment. We like to call it home assignment instead of furlough, just because missionary furlough is an older word that is confused with like soldiers furloughs or whatever. So we call it home assignment. In the past month, we have been traveling all over. We are in Ohio. Where are we at? What is life like on home assignment? Well, first of all, it is a lot of visiting churches on Sundays. So, so far these past two months, we have been to Shelbyville Community Church. We've been to Horizon Central, our home church. Um, we were at Ravenbrook. We were at Kate's Home Church in Connecticut. We were at Kate's Sister's Church, Kate's Friend's Church, um, the other church she often went to. Um, this Sunday, we're going to be at Morning Star Friends Church. Um, the next Sunday, we're going to be at, back in Indiana, we're going to be at Community Church of Greenwood. And so basically, just every Sunday, we have a different church that we're visiting and sharing about Brazil. Um, sometimes we're just visiting to speak with people, and sometimes we're visiting to actually do a presentation and prepare a presentation. So a lot of time goes into preparing presentations, so we don't get up there and they're like, um, yeah. Um, then during the week, we have a lot of different personal meetings. Well, this week, we had a uh, meeting with, with three different people in Connecticut and then three different um, groups of people here in Ohio. And each one of those meetings looks completely different. Um, and we try not to have a personal agenda in each one of these. Like, obviously, we have information to share about Living Stones. We have information to share about us, about the ministry in Brazil, about what's going on, how they can be, become involved. But really, this is where we get to build our relationships, and so much of missions needs to be reciprocal relationships. In Indiana, I've been setting up these relationships and these meetings and stuff for the past 12 years or so. But in Connecticut, Kate is more the one who takes, who makes up the meetings and he puts things together. He's the one that's been doing that, and that's only been three years. It's a lot of time being gone, you know, missing a place that I can come back and just be like, let's make everything dirty, instead of um, making sure to always be basically on our game. It is definitely not a vacation, but we wouldn't trade it for a vacation. We also do paperwork. For example, Kate and I were translating letters from supporters in the U.S. to go to children in Brazil so they could receive those letters in Portuguese and be able to read it. If we are going to be staying, we're going to get with World Renewal International and be working with them as well. So the life of a missionary is pretty busy. Um, we love it and we are so grateful for all the people we've been able to see lately. How has it felt putting together meetings and stuff with people that you've known all your life? It's felt really weird. Grown up stuff, I guess. It's kind of hard because people flake out on you, people are late, and you have to like bear with all of that. So it's more, it's a lot of time to set up meetings with people, plus meeting with people. Yeah, but it's been really good to, to, to get with people that I wouldn't have been able to get with if I didn't do all of that. What's it like sharing about Living Stones? I constantly feel like I don't know how to tell them about Living Stones. There's so much going on down there, so I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain it. Third wrecking speaking of churches because I still don't exactly know how to explain everything that you have been doing for 10 trillion years, Rachel. I can explain a little bit more because I've thought through it a little bit more. Explaining living stones to somebody in one hit is a lot harder. It's a lot easier to just defer you guys to the videos to watch all, I don't know, 100 something videos that we have. What's it been like emotionally for you this past month being gone and living out of a one room? <laughs> it's been emotionally draining. Like right now, I don't even want to talk for this video because I'm emotionally drained. I have to tap into my emotions again. I'm just like, I don't even want to. So. There you go. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to the video, just click the subscribe button that actually says subscribe. And um, if you like the video, then put a like. Don't forget.